It is time to cleanse your... Um, I, oh, with you, Sonic, with human teeth. By Tumblr. The more Legos you step on at once, the less they hurt. Anyone who says there is no wrong way to load the dishwasher obviously is not married. Nor is no concept of how spatial reasoning works. If we colonize other planets, the Miss Universe competition will probably be taken a lot more seriously. Leonardo DiCaprio is wealthier than the man he played in Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> There's no cleaning motivation, then I'll be at your house in 30 minutes cleaning motivation. There's half a million different jobs in the world, yet we pick our careers based on studying 10 to 15 subjects by age 18 to 21. Fuck. It's funny how most gamers prefer keyboards, which were not made to play games over the controllers, which were specifically made to play games with. Because professional gamers like to suffer. Joe Rogan probably decided early in his career to shave his head rather than fighting hair loss to avoid earning the nickname Joe Rogan. For those youngins who don't know who Joe Rogan is, you don't want to know. Accidentally closing out the music app when a good song is playing is the biggest vibe killer possible. Fact. If the Ghostbusters died and became ghosts, they'd probably be stupidly difficult to catch. The Xbox ring of death was caused by the Xbox overheating, meaning that the Xbox was working itself to death to make you happy. Pretty sure this was ghost written by somebody who works at Microsoft. The Phantom of the Opera is really a story about an incel who goes on a murder spree after being rejected by a stalking victim. <sighs> Not wrong. Saying that the book is better than the movie is affirming that you like your imagination more than the imagination of others. Chill, and you, you put it like that. Acting is one of the few professions where the professional wants the patron to forget their profession. Shit. 99 red balloons not being used at some point in the movie yet will forever remain one of mankind's greatest missed opportunities. The Pornhub intro probably exists to tell you if your volume is up or not, so thanks Pornhub. You the MVP. And finally, cliffhangers are only good when they... I don't have any cash on me, but if you have a Litecoin or Chainlink wallet, I can, like, send you the money now. You know, all currency, it's it's still money. Son, the only all currency we accept is trucking and fucking, and I ain't seeing no truck. Oh, shit. Man, I wish I didn't have this tumor on my head. Brother, everyone was born with a tumor. Just some people's tumors live in their lives instead of on their heads. Pongo time, somebody stop, 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 stop. On the island called Mountain of Flowers and Fruit, a boulder gave birth to a monkey. Definitely not a penis. When he was born, all of heaven noticed. Oh, it's just a monkey, no big deal. Not like it will be a hyper murder monkey or anything. He was indeed a hyper murder monkey. Mm. Come on, sit down. I am Animal Crossing. We will be friends that play Mario Kart. These nuts! <laughs> Get him! Why are you crying? I weep not from your death, but that I can only kill you once. Okay, here's how to protect yourself from the virus. Wash your hands, beat up neighbors, and steal their survival supplies. Repeat for as long as it takes. Yay! Crusader, please help me. I have a crippling addiction to pornography. You have shown strength in seeking help. It is something that many men and women deal with. You have a long path ahead of you. I am here for you to help. This hurts. I want to do this anymore. Lifting is supposed to hurt. You're breaking all the weakness in your body. Yeah. If you don't kiss your cat on their tiny, soft little forehead, what the French are you even doing? Uh, yelling at her for trying to eat plastic. What is the difference between falling in love and having a crush? If they get a haircut and they're ugly, it's a crush. That's a weirdly valid point. Wow. I just realized the first Cars movie and the first Thor movie have the exact same plot. I want an explanation right now. Okay, man on the road to greatness ends up lost in a small desert town with seemingly no hope of getting back to the life he knows. Over time, he falls in love with someone there and learns to be humble. 
With his character development complete, he's able to return to his life, never forgetting the people in that desert town. Oh, fuck. I hate how the stereotype is that dolphins are good and sharks are evil. When dolphins are so smart that they actually have the capacity for evil. But sharks are simple fish who can only be true neutral. So even if a minority of dolphins are evil, there are still more evil dolphins than sharks. Ah, uh, quality marine philosophy discourse. College students only have two levels of stress. One, I don't give a fuck, and two, oh god, if I don't do this, my life is over, I'm gonna have to work at McDonald's! There is no in-between. Americans, name every single Canadian province. Oh, that's easy. Hoenn, Joto, Kanto, Sinnoh, Unova, and Kalos. You missed Galar. And more importantly, you forgot Alola! What the fuck? Today I learned that many early texts describe Jesus as ugly and small. He is estimated to have been four feet six inches tall. Head can and Jesus looked and sounded exactly like Danny DeVito. <gasps> oh my god. That's why we like Danny DeVito so much. He's Jesus! Trash man is Jesus! Can you believe barrels used to be like everywhere? Like you walk down the street and you're guaranteed to see at least one barrel. <sighs> I miss it, bro. I don't trust the media. Too many acronyms. What does CNN stand for? Literally no one knows the answer. Cable News Network. Could be. Literally nobody knows. Stalactite supervisor. That's a job. Stalactite supervisor. Go ahead and laugh. It's hilarious. John Sato examines new formations with disappointment. A proper stalactite grows downward, says Sato. But these younger stalactites are rebellious and have little respect for tradition. We've caught them growing sideways, diagonally, and I saw one just yesterday that grew down at first, but then went straight back up again into a rock ceiling. Goddamn millennials. The first rule of writing is hoard notebooks. The second rule of writing is we do not write in our notebook hoard. So it is written, just not in any of the notebooks. Ugh, younger siblings are so entitled. Older siblings think they're such martyrs. Middle children have the personality of cornbread. Boys, boys, stop attacking each other. Unionize. We need to attack the true enemy. Only children. Isn't it weird how it's already February, but it's also only February? I see this post every February and it always fucks me up. It's February?! Me at night choosing what's gonna keep me up until 3 a.m. Oh, you get to choose? It is pitch black outside and someone is mowing their lawn. Wow, power move. Update, the someone is my father. Does he have a flashlight? Dad, did you have a flashlight? No. How did you see? Moon. Sounds like a dad to me. Hey, do any of my followers know how to render really good? I can render my enemies in mobile. I meant 3D computer renders, but I'll keep you in mind for future references. So we got an Amazon Echo, and we changed the wake word to computer, and now I feel like I'm on the Enterprise all the time. Additionally, whenever I watch Star Trek, she only responds to a computer when Data says it. And it's kind of adorable. Not Picard, not LaForge, not Troy, not Dr. Crusher, not Riker, not anyone but Data. The other night, Data asked his computer what time it was, and my computer told him it was 1047. Watching Star Trek is even more fun now. Ah, your Echo has a crush. It's weird how people say follow your dreams instead of follow your ambitions. Because once I had a dream where I worked for a place that tried to genetically engineer ducks to speak English, except the ducks only criticize people's fashion sense. Please follow your dream. I beg you. Do you ever just know the answer to a trivia question and have no idea where the knowledge came from? Sources, dude, trust me. I, I don't think I've ever been so frustrated. Aren't you glad it's not a banana? Oh my God, it happened! So I shared, talked about this a while back on Twitter is I was recently trying to upgrade my phone and I wanted a Note 10 and I thought it'd be a good phone to have. So I found one. I, Almost too good to be true price. And the case being, it was. Got this, it looks mildly convincing. I mean, the font's wrong already on it. And then you look at the cameras and you realize one actually is a camera. And then the other two are just little black orbs. Uh, and also, <laughs> this software is definitely not the recent thing. And I tried to convince the seller that, hey, you got a fake phone and you sold it to me. That's sort of illegal. And they're like, well, it's not like I'm supposed to know that. It's your fault for buying it. You had buyer beware. So I contacted the official site holders, which was eBay, which I already knew I was gonna be screwed on that part. And they couldn't do anything about it. So 
I basically, I'll, I'll tell you the number, spent $750 on a piece of shit that doesn't work. And instead of trying to get my money back, I thought of a better idea. Jeez. It's dead. Look, look. There is practically diddle inside this shit. You really, you really expected this to be okay? Oh, oh, oh. That's cracked. That's gone. That's obliterated. One magical throw. You know, I've been under a lot of stress too, so this was, that was mildly satisfying. That's gone. That's dead as a. Remember, kids, shop smart. Don't be like me. Or else you're gonna really, really wish you had that $750 back. But it's dead now. And I feel better about my life. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.